Hi everyone, my name is Matt Williams. I am an Access Fellow here at Jesus College at the University of Oxford. I'm really excited to be able to talk to you about two fantastic developments at the college that recognise the importance, the centrality of accessibility and inclusivity here at the college and at the university. First, I'm delighted to welcome you here to the Welsh Access Fund Quad. It's been named after that fantastically generous gift from one of our former students to secure the Access Summer School in perpetuity. This quad physically represents our values. It is open, it's accessible, it's going to be such a wonderful meeting place for students past and present in the summer when it's a slightly nicer weather than it is today, when the flowers will be out, when the cafe will be open. And as the Access Fellow, I couldn't be happier that this space has been dedicated in honour of this generous gift to support something that's so important to the college and so important to me. The second fantastic dedication in the college is the Buchanan Tower. This has been named in honour again of a fantastically generous former student's gift to the college that will secure a graduate studentship. It's been named in honour of Captain Angus Buchanan, VC, who's a truly extraordinary man he came to Jesus College to study classics in 1913, but his studies were interrupted by the First World War. He signed up immediately, he went to fight. Within two years of enlisting, he had been awarded the Military Cross, first of all, and then the most prestigious Victoria Cross for bravery. He obtained that medal for protecting two of his soldiers who were under fire in a battle in Mesopotamia. Merely a year after that, gallantry, he was blinded in combat. He nonetheless, despite the physical disability, came back to Oxford to resume his studies and he eventually graduated with a degree in law, having switched from classics to law. He graduated in 1921, he went on to become a solicitor and a really active member of his local community. It's an incredibly inspiring individual, this sort of figurative tower of a man will now be immortalised in a literal tower on the famous Oxford skyline. And the connection with the graduate studentship and the accessibility of the college is again just so heartwarming to me and so wonderful for the future of this college. So I am so excited to be welcoming prospective students and past students to come and see these wonderful new spaces to share them with us and to really reinforce just how much we care as a community about accessibility and inclusivity and equality of opportunity at the University of Oxford. I do hope that you will come and visit us as soon as you can and we'd love to share these spaces with you too. So thank you so much for watching. Bye now.